You've got to live somewhere. You have two options. Do I rent or do I own? Let's look at the math. If you rent something, say a single family residential home in a neighborhood, at $1,000 a month, assuming a 1% annual increase in that rent over that 10 year period, it looks like this. Year one, $1,000. Year two, $1,010. Year three, $1,020. I think you get the idea. By the year 10, your rent would have increased at 1% to $1,093.68 a month. That's a total of $129,746 that you paid off on your landlord's house. Or you bought him a new Lexus. Twice. Your second option is to buy a home for about $150,000 in the same neighborhood, assuming today's interest rate of 4% and a zero down loan. It'll cost you about $1,000 a year in maintenance to maintain that home. 600 a year for insurance and a modest appreciation of 2% over the 10-year period in your home's value. Your payment will be 716 for principal and interest, a considerable savings over your $1,000 rent. You also have the tax advantage, $15,150 over that 10-year period and your home will appreciate 53702 for a total of 68000 $853 net gain. You have two options. You can rent for $129,746, which I'm sure your landlord's going to love, or you can live in your own home, and the cost will be $85,934. The difference between the two is $43,811. You have to live somewhere. Where do you choose to live?